All right, guys, I have been trying for three days to try to get a battle where Swoobat actually does some shit. So I finally got one today, and uh, this is actually my opponent from the last video, GG. And uh, using the same team as last video, the only difference is GG brought a brand new PU team. She's actually using a Trick Room team, which is pretty cool. But guys, three fucking days it took to get a battle where Swoobat actually does some shit. So this is probably going to be the last video with this team. I know you guys probably want to see some other teams and shit, but I have had a blast with this team. Out of, I think, 11 battles, I've only lost once. So <laughs> that really speaks for how well this team worked out. And uh, if you guys want to, the uh, set information is in the description for you guys. If you want to try out this team yourself, it is a really fun team. The only thing um, that I can tell you guys to watch out for is like really, really strong physical attackers because you actually don't have a physical wall on this team. Um, Clefairy just kind of eats hits here and there. Um, but yeah, just be careful. Like, Buffalant was a major problem for this team. <laughs> it's actually the battle that I lost. It was because of Buffalant. Um, but anyway, looking at GG's team, she has the Cacleon, Vespaquin, Tropius, Whiskash, Luxray, and the Sandslash. And you guys pretty much know my team by now. This battle was <laughs> pretty good, guys. I hope you'll enjoy it. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Cacturn as my opponent is going to lead off with her Cacleon. So this is obviously not the greatest situation for me, but I kind of wanted to see which kind of Cacleon this was going to be. I was praying it's not the really bulky Assault Vest set. So I'm just going to go ahead and set up a Swords Dance, which is definitely not recommended on the very first turn of the battle. My opponent's actually going to whip out the Trick Room on the very first turn. so. Um, that tells me that this is definitely not the Assault Vest annoying ass bulky as hell Cacleon, which I was so, so happy to see. So here my opponent's actually going to swap out into Vespaquin, which is pretty good for them because I literally cannot touch this thing with any of my moves, so I'm obviously going to have to swap out here. And my opponent knows that. So I was actually kind of figuring this thing would try to set up first turn, but my opponent makes a good play and uh, goes for the attack order as I bring out my Pyroar here. And uh, this attack order actually does a lot of damage. I was kind of surprised, but kind of not, because Pyroar is definitely pretty frail. But damn, that did a lot of damage. And uh, my opponent's just going to U-turn out. Um, basically, Pyroar was my best play there, in case my opponent did start setting up, because Specs, Pyroar, Flamethrower definitely hurts Vespaquin a lot. Probably would have still killed, even at plus one defense or special defense. My opponent's actually going to swap out into the Cacleon. I actually predicted the swap. Go for the... Or I went for the Hyper Voice there. I actually snag a crit. And it does a dick load of damage to that Cacleon. But here, I'm going to have to swap out. Because I don't want my Pyroar taking any more damage here. So I'm going to actually bring out Clefairy. My opponent's going to set up the Stealth Cox. And uh, basically, here, we're just going to be trading rocks. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I go for as well. So my opponent's going to get some lefties back. I, again, I'm just, I'm so happy this is not the Assault Vest Cacleon because that thing could have been a problem because half my team's special. So my opponent's actually going to swap out here into the Tropius and uh, I do go ahead and set up my rocks here. Now Clefairy really can't do much to Tropius and I was kind of hoping it wasn't going to be one of those fun like Dragon Dance sets, but... It's actually, my opponent goes for the sub there, which kind of tells me it's probably one of those sub seeding sets. Um, I try to go for the T-Wave there, but obviously it gets blocked by the sub. Now here I make a really dumb play, I don't know why I was doing this. I think my opponent and I both forgot that <laughs> uh, Leech Seed does not work on a Magic Guard Mon, so I didn't want my Clefairy to get Leech Seeded, not that it would have mattered, I just totally forgot about Magic Guard. But um, I bring in Cacturn there on the Toxic, which, again, had I left Clefairy in there, it would have taken the Toxic and it wouldn't have mattered, but I'm a moron. And then I remembered, hey, wait, Clefairy has Magic Guard, and it doesn't, like, Leech Seed doesn't matter. <laughs> so I bring back out Clefairy, as my opponent's going to go for the Air Slash here, and it does it totally adorable damage to my Clefairy here. I'm uh, max HP, max special defense with Eviolite. And here is where I think my opponent also forgot about Magic Guard, because <laughs> he tries to, or he or she tries to seed me there, and uh, it's obviously not going to work. So I'm just going to go for the Moonblast here, honestly just trying to break this thing sub, 
and uh, it looks like it's actually going to take two Moon Blasts to break this thing sub. Tropius actually has relatively good bulk to it, so he's just going to go for another Air Slash there, I guess just praying for the flinch. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to go for another Moon Blast here, and it finally breaks the sub. So honestly, this Tropius is kind of a problem for my team. Um, I can't really bring in Hitmonchan safely because I'm probably going to take an Air Slash on the Switch. Um, but anyway, my opponent's going to swap out here into Sandy Cheeks, which is a, a pretty cool nickname for a, uh, a Sand Slash. So I'm going to actually get out of here, not wanting to take the physical attack. I think these things also get Iron Hit or Poison Jab or something. So I didn't want to take that. I'm actually going to make a kind of questionable play going into the Pyroar. Um, my opponent's actually going to swap out here, not wanting to take the Specs uh, Hyper Voice, which is exactly what I go for. As my opponent brings out the Cacleon once again, and uh, it's looking like this is going to take, I think, two Hyper Voices. No, it actually kills. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Had that been the Assault Vest set, it definitely would have taken two. But anyway, now my opponent's going to bring out the Whiz Cash. Cash me outside. How about that? And, uh... I definitely don't want to stay in here. Had I not been Specs, had it been Life Orb, I definitely would have just gone for the HP Grass, which I have on the Pyroar. But here, I'm just going to bring back out the uh, the Cacturn. My opponent makes a great prediction. Going for the Ice Beam, it's actually going to kill off Dr. Crane. So once again, I literally, out of the 11 battles I've had with this team, I don't think Cacturn did anything. So I still don't know what I'm going to swap him out with. PU doesn't really have many great grass options. I kind of wish that like Vile Plume was down here or something. But anyway, I'm going to bring out Hitmonchan and go for the Drain Punch. It actually does a dick load of damage to that Whiskash. And uh, my opponent's going to go for the Hydro Pump here. And as I said before, the Hitmons actually have relatively good bulk on the special side. I actually eat that Hydro Pump and uh, throw out another Drain Punch that is going to kill off the cash me outside and um, I'll get some decent HP back because Whiskash actually has pretty solid HP and um, I can't remember what my opponent goes into next. Sandy Cheeks, okay. So it goes out into the uh, Sand Slash here. Now I calc'd it, Drain Punch does like diddly bubkiss to this thing, even Ice Punch does like 40 something percent. <laughs> so it's not really worth me leaving my Hitmonchan in here. I'm actually just going to go for the Rapid Spin, we actually trade Rapid Spins here. And uh, basically both of our rocks are gone now. And I think here, uh, I just swap out, I think I go, ugh, fuck man, I cannot remember. Okay, I bring out Clefairy. Honestly, I think at this point in the battle, I was just trying to sack off Clefairy. Because um, two Earthquakes are definitely going to kill me. So yeah, that, that, I believe that's what I was going for. So I'm just going to go for a Moonblast here, but he outspeeds me. And uh, that is going to kill off Tiny Wings, which is a bit unfortunate, but... Tiny Wings kind of did its job. <laughs> it's not really useful anymore. So here I'm going to bring back out Pyroar. Now that my opponent's rocks are gone, I can bring in Pyroar fairly safely and uh, basically just throw around the Specs Hyper Voices because it hits all of my opponent's team neutrally. So uh, my opponent is going to swap out into the Tropius. It is not going to take this Hyper Voice very well at all. And uh, I obviously outspeed Pyroar's fast as shit. And uh, I just go for another Hyper Voice. I don't know if my opponent was like not expecting that much damage or <laughs> I don't know, maybe he was just sacking off his Tropius, I'm not sure. Um, but now my opponent is going to bring out his Luxray. And here, I just go for Hyper Voice. I was actually expecting the Hyper Voice to do more, more damage and actually kill it, but <laughs> apparently his Luxray uh, lives with just a sliver of HP. He goes for the. Fuck, what move was that? Superpower, that's what it was. And uh, that is obviously going to kill off my Pyroar. I don't know why he went for Superpower. He definitely could have just killed me with a facade, um, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna bring out my uh, Electivire here and just go for the uh, Electric Terrain as my opponent actually swaps out, I guess, wanting to, <laughs> wanting to conserve his, uh, his really low HP Luxray for some reason. Uh, my opponent's going to bring out the Sandy Cheeks once again. I love that nickname. I, I used to be a huge Spongebob fan. I love the Spongebob memes. They're hilarious. So I'm just going to go for an Ice Punch here. It does decent damage. Obviously not the best damage in the world. He's actually Rocky Helmet. So I'm going to take some recoil. Now my opponent's going to set up his rocks once again. At this point in the, in the battle, it doesn't really matter too much. I'm just going to go for a second Ice Punch. It's going to put him in the red. 
and uh, now my opponent is going to be able to kill me off with, I believe, an Earthquake. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so, unforked, my, uh, my Electivire is going to go down here. But Electivire did well. Um, it actually chipped away at Sandy Cheeks here enough for Porky to come in and deal with it. So, I obviously am going to be able to outspeed this. So, finally Swoobat gets to come in and do something here. So, I'm actually bringing it in on the Electric Terrain. My Electric Seed activates, giving me a plus two boost to defense. I'm going to go for the Stored Power, which I believe... Let's see. I think it has like 40 base power plus stab. So, it's really weak, but it's enough to kill the... Uh, the Sand Slash there, so now my opponent is going to bring out the Vespaquin, and unfortunately I don't have any stab boosts yet. I just go for the Air Slash, expecting a little bit more damage, but apparently Vespaquin's really, really bulky. It's bulkier than I gave it credit for, that's for sure. And uh, my opponent actually has the red card, which is kind of interesting, and uh, it's going to swap me out into the Hitmonchan, but my opponent is going to go for the Acrobatics here, and that's going to kill off my Hitmonchan, so my last Mon at this point is the lord himself, Swoobat. <laughs> so my electric terrain is going to go away, not that it matters at this point. And uh, unfortunately, that means that I lost my plus two defense because he swapped me out. But this is totally okay because one more air slash is going to kill the Vespaquin. And finally, my last mon, or my opponent's last mon, is the Luxray, I believe. Yeah, which is already really, really low. And uh, obviously I'm able to outspeed this thing because Luxray is slow as balls for some reason. And uh, I actually go for a stored power there. Because he's so low, it is able to kill him, but I literally had no stat boosts. So that was like a, a base power 20 stored power, but it still killed. So that is game GG, and uh, I really enjoyed that battle. I'm so happy that Swoobat actually did something for once. <laughs> but um, if you guys enjoyed this battle, leave a like, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Hit me up on Discord if you guys want to battle. Links as always are in the description below. I love you guys, and peace out.